Hi guys, Real Estate Broker Crystal Cox here. That last video kind of cut off. I'm not really sure where, but I, I was talking about the fact that it is better to use a listing agent for property. And I'm not exactly sure where the video uh, cut off, and I will, I'll do more on that topic later. But I just want to say for the selling side of it, if you hire a real estate agent to sell your property, do you want them to list the property and then ignore it? Because that's what the fight is for dual agency. Okay, They want you to list your property with the agent that you like and then the agent does nothing. So for sellers, dual agency is better. I hire, if I'm a seller and I hire a real estate agent to sell my property, I want them dogging it. I want them out there selling, sell, sell, sell. I want them, you know, placing ads and talking to people and doing things on the internet and doing whatever they can to try to sell the property and to try to get a buyer. Okay, I don't want them to sit back and do nothing because um, I don't, and I don't want them to just sell to other agents. Okay, that's what they want in dual agency. When they tell you not, you know, when they promote that you should have a buyer's agency or they try to enact laws that. Um, you have to have, as a matter of law, dual agency. So, you know, you have NAR lob lobbying for this. That just brings more real estate agents into the mix, and it's, it's not necessary. It's not of the best interest of the seller to have a real estate agent that lists the property and then does nothing to sell it. Oh, yeah, but there's their office, and their office does it, and there's all these other agents, and they sell the agents. I don't want them selling the agents. I want them to find a buyer. Okay, so... Again, I don't know where that last video cut off, so I'll tell you again what I, what I was saying about um, it is best, in my opinion, it is best to work with the listing agent to sell a property. And it is my opinion that, based on my experience, that you get a better deal with the listing agent. The listing agent knows more. You have less liability because they tend to tell you more about the property. and even if it's just, you know, just off the cuff. They just, they walk you through and they know more. You will find out more about the property walking it with the listing agent. Find out even more about the property if you was to walk it with the seller. I mean, you know, having a showing with the seller is a good idea for buyers. Um, I also gave an example of once where I had faxed an offer. A property been listed for years and I faxed an offer to Century 21. And then all of a sudden there was three offers competing, okay? Because the, when it went through on the fax machine, other agents in the office saw it, and they called people they showed it to prior, and then there was a bidding war. And I always tell my people on that sort of situation, the deal of a lifetime is not the deal of a lifetime, okay? It's never the deal of a lifetime. Step off the line and get in a bidding war. You know, I mean, it might work for gazillionaires and some other alternate reality, but in the world that I was working in, it never worked out to get into that. Especially if something's been listed for three years, then all of a sudden it's got all these people excited about it. You just back off. You know, that's not the right property. But clearly something dishonest had happened. I'd faxed it to the listing agent, and these other agents had got involved and got their people in. Whereas if I was the buyer and I was working directly with the listing agent, that wouldn't have happened. Okay? I'd have got my deal in quicker. They'd have had the incentive because they would get both sides of the sale. I would get a better deal. I, it would be easier to see the property. It would be easier to get deals through. Um, as I said in previous videos, people argue with me all the time saying it's, it's better for real estate consumers if the buyer's agent represents the buyer, seller's agent represents the seller, then they each have someone representing them. That's not true, okay? They talk to each other. They talk about why they're selling. They gossip about each other. Whatever, okay? They... The, the buyer's agent will never know as much about the property as the listing agent. And of course, if they've listed it before, they're friends with the owner or family. I mean, I'm not talking about that. I'm saying in general, the listing agent knows more about the property because they've walked the property with the seller and they showed the property many times. They've seen the file. They've seen the title report. They've seen the, you know, the water rights. They've seen um, home inspections or anything that's happened. They know more about the property. And so... I think you have less of a liability if you're working directly with the listing agent. I think you have a better chance of, of getting the deal through because there's not a bidding war and someone in the office is going to interfere. I've also had times where I've tried to show the property 
and I can't get a hold of the listing agent. I can't get a hold of the um, uh, the the as a buyer's agent. I can't show the property, and I can't get a hold of the seller, and I can't this, and I can't that. If you're working right with the listing agent, the listing agent has easier access to the seller, so you don't miss out on a property because you can't get through. Okay, so if the listing agent has a client, they're going to show their client before they show this other buyer's agent's client. Okay, so yeah, they might get twice the money, but it's, it is better for the real estate consumer, in my opinion and my experience over 17 years, in every way to work directly with the listing agent. And it is better for the seller, the listing agent, to have the incentive and not be limited by law. Oh, well, I can't find a buyer because that's the law. I just get the listing. It's better for the listing agent to have someone working hard for them to try to sell it and make that money themselves than to sit back and do nothing to try to sell the property. Anyway, that's just a bit more on the whole why I feel that it's best for the real estate consumer to work, the buyer to work directly with the listing agent. Let me repeat that. It is best, in my opinion, in every way for the buyer to work directly with the listing agent on a property and not have a separate buyer's agent.